Mr. Turcott had a right hip replacement 48 hours ago after taking a fall at his home. A urinary catheter was installed after surgery to keep him in bed upon his return to the surgical care unit. Today, his physician asked for the catheter to be removed. He also asked for a urine culture. Hello, Mr. Turcott. Yes. I have good news for you. Okay. My name is Phil, and your doctor has asked me to remove your urinary catheter. Oh, nice. However, he has also asked for a urine culture before we can do this. I'm going to clamp your catheter for about 20 or 30 minutes before I take the urine sample. I'll be back soon. Okay. Hi again. Uh, first, we will take a urine sample uh, and then we'll remove the catheter. All right. The nurse adjusts the bed level so that he can work without risking a back injury. The nurse must disinfect the sampling ring to prevent contamination of the sample from bacteria on the ring, which would lead to false analysis results. Letting the alcohol dry for at least 30 seconds is required for the aseptic effect to work. The nurse inserts the syringe into the sampling ring and draws enough urine, making sure to avoid contamination, which could lead to false test results. He draws an amount of urine that comes directly from the bladder. During the procedure, the homeostatic clamp remains in place to keep the circuit closed. An open circuit could draw stale urine from the drainage bag, leading to false test results. Screwing the cap tightly on prevents any potential leaks. Removing the clamp restores urinary drainage. The nurse checks the amount of liquid in the urinary catheter's balloon. This information is written on the catheter. This check is to make sure the balloon has been completely emptied before removing the catheter. This helps to prevent any injuries or trauma. This position allows the nurse to see the perineum. Can you please spread your legs a little bit? Thank you. The nurse makes note of the amount and characteristics of the urine in the diuresis bag. This information is noted in the user's file. Respect for the user's modesty and dignity must be a priority at all times. Placing a PK under the user's buttocks protects the bed linen from soiling during the procedure. When doing this procedure with a male user, the PK goes underneath the penis and not the buttocks.
Under positive pressure, the balloon will inflate spontaneously on its own. At the end, the nurse draws air with the syringe to make sure it is completely empty. This is done to prevent urethra injury or trauma that could be caused by removing a catheter with air in the balloon. The nurse makes sure the amount of liquid collected in the syringe corresponds to the amount needed to inflate the balloon. Again, this is done to prevent any potential injury during the removal procedure. Okay, I'm ready to remove the catheter. Sure. Please do like if you're trying to urinate. Okay. The nurse asks the user to push as if trying to urinate to relax the external sphincter and facilitate removal of the catheter. The nurse also pinches the catheter between thumb and finger to prevent any urine from leaking out. The nurse examines the urinary catheter for damage after removal. This is done to make sure the entire catheter has been removed. The nurse places the waste bag in a biomedical waste bag to prevent the spread of pathogens. Okay, Mr. Turcotte, if you need to go to the bathroom, please ring us first. All right. We need to measure your first urination after removing the catheter. Okay. I'm happy it's been removed. Okay, you'll be more autonomous and yes, you'll be absolutely. able to move around freely. A little bit. Okay. Thank you very much. Thanks, goodbye.